Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it should be relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it should be upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. James Hardy has just come out with a third, well, a first quarter for the calendar year and also the third quarter for their financial year. The results around where they're sitting and they're quite interesting because don't forget, if you have a look at James Hardy, it's moved up 20 bucks in the last sort of year and a bit into where it's been from that sort of 2023 low to now. If you look at those numbers, they're not bad in terms of what you see there. If you have a look, a modest 1% miss on revenue at 7.31 billion versus 7.34 billion dollars expected. But you look at the EBIT number, it was better. You came in at 931 versus 824 million. And deliveries were in line at about 6.8K expectations. Price, however, for the average sale was a little bit lower at $413,000 per delivery versus 421 or thereabouts on the expectation. But it's looking forward that you really need to look at with regards to where it sits. If you look at that and what James Hardy's delivered guidance, orders are now expected between 20,900 and 21,300. That's 16% growth. Deliveries, 19,000 to 19,500, 15% growth. And average sales between 420 and 425,000 is a 2% sequential growth movement year on year. That's pretty impressive considering it. Now, don't forget, inflation's a good card of that, I understand that. But the stock deliveries and where deliveries were at, they're 23% above market expectations. You look at the inline expectations around the deliveries, they're also about 20% higher. And all that can explain why James Hardy has been doing so well, because everybody was highlighting their results and they were in line or slightly misses. But if you actually look at the operations of the business, it's still really moving quite far ahead. And that's despite all the interest rate rises problems that we've been going on across the globe. That's despite the fact that at the moment, there's sort of particularly the emerging market area is, is getting a bit tight. It's a great story, James Hardy. Watch it quite closely.